Hey there, I want to invite you to the Six Figure Secrets training series, which is happening really, really soon. This four day online training series is designed for e commerce founders like you who are looking to scale their sales to 10K a month and beyond. This four part live workshop series is going to cover a number of things, including why your products or prices aren't the problem and what you need to focus on instead, the real problem stopping you from scaling your sales three ways you can make more sales in the next seven days without spending on any Facebook ads. And on the final day, the main event, you will learn the six figure secrets to scaling your online store to 100Ks and beyond. Plus, I'm going to share with you the exact roadmap I used to build my seven figure online store as well. This training kicks off very soon. If you're listening to this a few days after it's actually started, it's totally okay. Still register, still come along. Even if you can come on the last day, on the fourth day for the main event, you'll get so much value from this. You will come away with a roadmap on what you need to focus on now in order to increase your traffic and sales. You'll also learn those insider secrets on what it really takes to scale your online store to six figures and beyond by someone who has done that exactly. And also you'll get an idea of what is actually working right now, what doesn't and what you need to do to amplify your marketing effectiveness without working even harder. Again, this is happening really, really soon. There's notes, a uh, link in the bottom of the show notes here or head over to my Instagram. I am Jody Minto and you'll find the link in my bio to join. And I hope I see you on the training. Hey there, I'm Jody Minto and welcome to the Online Store Success Podcast. Join me each week to chat about everything e-commerce, digital marketing, and my all-time personal fave, Facebook and Instagram ads. Each week, I'm going to share with you exactly what's working, what's not, as well as tips, tricks, and strategies in order to help you grow your online sales as well. Plus, you'll also hear from other e-commerce founders, from other digital marketing experts, and good humans sharing their advice with you. If you love what you hear, remember to hit that subscribe button, and I'd be so, so grateful if you could leave this podcast to review on Apple Podcasts. And if you want to learn how we can work together to grow your business, be sure to head over to jodyminto.com or DM me at Instagram at I am Jody Minto and we can chat some more there. All right, let's get started on this week's episode. Hello and welcome to this episode where I'm sharing with you six steps to launch your online store and start making consistent sales. You see, when I first started my own online store, I actually had one customer, my mum. I was so embarrassed. I'd spent hundreds of dollars on inventory and having a website design and beautiful logo. I even had business cards and brochures ready to go. And what I quickly discovered with that business, it was called Willow Tree Organics, was that there wasn't much of a market for it at that particular time in that particular country where I was living in Dubai. So I had to go back to the drawing board and figure out what went wrong and what I need to do going forward. And what I came up with was a totally new concept. It was still online. It was still a product based business, but it was a different product designed to work with the market that I was currently in. That business became Island Co, which was my seven figure a year online ladies resort wear brand, which I sold around 18 months ago now. So why did Island Co succeed and why didn't Willow Tree Organics, why did Willow Tree Organics completely flop and Island Co did really well? And I, I can pinpoint it down to six things that I got really, really good at and really, really aware of in order to build that successful business. The first thing was that I picked a niche that I knew well, and then I studied it like crazy. So I pivoted from organic perfumes, vegan roll-on perfumes, baby wear, things that I didn't really know very much about. And my kids were actually no longer babies anyway. And instead I pivoted towards ladies fashion, which I did know because I was an avid consumer of ladies fashion. I'd also noticed how busy all of the other ladies fashion businesses were in Dubai around me at the time and thought, okay, I need to look at doing that. Plus I had access to tailors and fabric suits and things like that. So I could start coming up with product 
prototypes pretty easily for not a great deal of money. But I knew that that niche a lot better than the previous one in Willow Tree Organics and I knew there was a market for it. So that's where the first place that I sort of had to re, uh, re-strategize and think about where I was going to go. The second thing I did was that I built a brand that my customers loved. So brand building is a whole thing, (laughs) which I won't be able to cover in this episode, but it's a whole thing. It's thinking very much about what it is that you do, what your products do, what sort of problem or transformation that you solve, and then thinking very deeply about your customer. Who is your customer? And not just those overarching demographics, but what keeps them up at night? What are they looking for? What brings them joy? And how does my brand serve them? So building a brand that customers loved, and we had, and I'm sure still they still do have thousands of really, really loyal customers that would be shouting, you know, from the rooftops and social media, like tagging us in, in their garments and just waiting for the next release. The third thing I did was I made sure that I had a really user-friendly and attractive website, making it easy for people to actually buy from me. I see lots and lots of websites on any given day in in my business. I coach obviously other uh, e-commerce business owners and in a lot of my programs I do these website audits and I look on these websites and find often they're not that easy to actually use. Sometimes we're too close to the product ourselves and we just think, oh no, people will know how to navigate to that particular product and that particular product or that particular category or find what it is that they're looking for. And more often than not, they can't. And I had a website audit happen this week where I did it for one of my members inside of Ecom Ads Academy, the same thing. It was, you know, it made perfect sense to the business owner how the page was structured and where the images were linking people to, but I was lost. I couldn't find what it is that I thought I was clicking on. So we need to take a step back with our websites and have a look and even get friends and family to test it and say, can you work this easily? And my motto when it comes to optimizing your website so that it's very user-friendly is click, click, buy. Click, click buy means that people need to be able to take the shortest number of clicks to add something to their cart and buy it or even find something that they want add it to the cart and buy it there shouldn't be 15 clicks it shouldn't be click 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 okay now i can buy it it should be the least number of steps involved for them to make an easy purchase with you so just have a think about how your website actually operates outside of you know often too we're in the back end of the website we're the back end of shopify adding products rearranging catalogs and things like that but we're not looking at the front facing site that the customers see then the fourth thing i did was i got onto social media and build a raving fan base we had a great deal of success on instagram in particular ironically we had lots more followers and this is the same for my business now lots more followers on instagram than we did on facebook but then when you look at the data a lot of the sales come through via facebook um so building up uh, social media and an audience there it does take time it does take a commitment it does take consistency and persistence to keep showing up and discovering what sort of content resonates with your audience and doing more of that and building up that know, like, and trust and letting potential customers stalk you on social media and reach out and ask questions. So getting on social media was pivotal in the success of Island Co. The fifth thing that was really, really important and I had to get really, really good at was building an email list and not just building the list, but then developing email marketing campaigns. Having an email list is having a list of people that are your you're already your fans. They've opted in to sign up for your emails. They've put in their email address and we know what happens when we type in our name and email into those boxes. We know we're going to be marketed to. And these people have said, yes, thank you. I like what it is that you do and what you sell and I'm interested to know more. So here is my email. So doing this is is crucial because they're already your warm leads. They're already on the fence about buying or potentially already have bought and looking to make that second purchase. And it gives us a really direct and cost-effective and efficient 
means of marketing to people on our list. We can let them know when we have a new release or a new collection. We can let them know when there's a sale happening. We can let them know when something's just about sold out. So encouraging them to come through and make a purchase. So having an email list is really, really important. And if you if your end plan was like it was for me, where you want to sell your business down the track, having that solid email list is an asset to your business and a potential buyer will want to know how many people are on that list, how engaged they are, what sort of email marketing you're doing. So it's it's a really tangible asset to your business that will not only make you money, but it'll help you down the track if you do decide to sell your business. The sixth thing I got really good at was Facebook ads. Facebook ads meant I could spend a dollar and make $3 back pretty much any time I wanted. And knowing that meant that I had the ability to scale my sales to beyond, you know, wherever you want it to be, you know, right now for you that you might be dreaming about hitting 5k months or maybe 10k months, or maybe you're dreaming about doing 200k months. Facebook ads were the accelerator button for the other layers, the other foundations I'd already built and just meant that I was able to reach more people really quickly and really amplify our success. Getting good at those six things is crucial to achieving online store success. It will pay for your retirement or pay for that, you know, many, many things, your salary, those holidays, those private school fees for your kids, your kid's first car like we just bought yesterday, all of those things, right? It can give you that financial uh, success, that financial freedom. It can give you a career on your own terms, having your own online store. So how do you learn those six things? You don't have to go back to university. You don't have to spend four years or $50,000 on different things to try and move the needle. You don't have to quit your day job. You just need to learn from someone else that's done it before, whether that's from me or whether that's from somebody else. You see, when I first started Art & Co and had that previous failed experience with Willow Tree Organics, I realized I needed some help. So I invested in a coach and this particular coach I'm still friends with today, but she was not an e-commerce specialist, but she knew marketing and digital marketing and Facebook ads. So she really, really helped guide me in what to do to get my online store working and scale those sales. And without her help, I wouldn't have had the success that I had. So that's why I built an online program teaching e-commerce founders and entrepreneurs how to get started and how to scale their sales without all of the headache. When I first started my e-commerce brand, there wasn't a course around for e-commerce. There was expensive digital marketing sort of business coaches, online coaches. I remember spending, I don't know, I think about $3,000 a month for 12 months, but it, even that was so worth it, right? But there was no program. So I wanted to create a program myself based on my experience and my learnings and my failures to help other people fast track their success and at a more accessible price point, because I know with product-based businesses, it's very different than say a service-based business. In a product-based business, you have to outlay the cash upfront for products and hope that you're going to sell them versus a service-based business is generally your time. So you're not having to outlay tens of thousands of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars on product first and then sell it. I understand that stress that stress being cash flow negative and having gone all in with your life savings trying to make that business succeed. So inside of my program, Online Store Success, this is my signature program I've been running for its eighth year now. Inside of it, it's, it's, it's all about building really, really strong foundations. I show you how to validate your product idea and find a profitable niche as well as making sure that your prices are set correctly in order for you to make a profit and have a long-term business. And if you want to consider wholesale down the track, whether or not you've got the margin. So I do help look at that as well. I help you craft a compelling brand story that connects you with your target audience. And we get really, really granular on getting 
down and, and figuring out who exactly your ideal customer is because a lot of people are like I know who my niche is it's women aged between 30 and 55 worldwide that is not a niche so we get really really granular with that as well as we uncover what sort of transformation your products and your brands provide for them how you improve their life their day whatever it might be we get we make sure that that's really clear and that you can articulate that in your marketing. We make sure that your website is user friendly and optimized to convert. So it's really easy for people to actually buy for you. And also it's really attractive. We do the scary technical stuff like back end of Shopify, back end of Clavio, all of those different systems at Facebook ads, like how do you get started, how to make sure that you're doing all of that correctly. We also look at developing some awesome social media content and building a loyal, a loyal following. We also look at uh, list building and different list building uh, incentives that you can test as well as setting up automated email flows that make you money in your sleep and then implementing ongoing email marketing campaigns. We also get started with Facebook ad campaigns and I say get started because it is an introductory to Facebook ads. However, there is about 30 tutorials in there. So people that have already actually been running ads come in here and go, oh wow, okay, I know you said it was get started, but I've just learned so much because we talk about how to measure results and all the different things, right? So we talk about a lot over the space of 12 weeks together. There is a couple of different components to this this program well there's three actually there is the curriculum which is those modules and those lessons that you can watch online as well as we now have a private podcast channel as of 2024 so if you're more of a listener than a watcher you can listen to the modules in the car on your walk driving the kids around whatever it might be doing then we have the community we have a 12 week facebook pop-up group that is uh, all other like-minded e-commerce founders like yourself where you get to know each other support each other and become lifelong friends i know i've still got lifelong friends from other groups that i've been in the people that really get it and they understand what it is that you know you're struggling with and what your goals look like and what challenges you face on a day-to-day -day basis and then there's also coaching with me so i also um, help answer questions inside of that facebook group and we have weekly Q and A calls where you can submit your questions specific to your business and get my uh, coaching and advice and feedback on your specific business and what's going on, what challenges you're facing. So that's what online store success looks like. And I'm, I'm telling you all of this today because it's opening for enrollment very soon. We run this course twice a year. So if you're listening to me now, we're in March. Uh, enrollment opens in this week, actually, and then we start just after Easter, the 2nd of April, and then it won't be back till later in the year. So it's a great time to do it at the beginning of the year so that you have really solid foundation set coming into the prime buying season at the end of the year, thinking about coming in for in, in Australia for spring, if in the, in the US. It's making sure that you're really set to captivate and capture as many sales and new customers as you can during Black Friday and uh, Christmas shopping and all of that sort of thing. So doing it earlier on in the year, I always really, really highly recommend. So if it's something that you're interested um, in, be sure to check out the link in the show notes here or go to onlinestoresuccess.com, pop your name on the wait list. Like I said, it's opening up very soon. And if you heard my little intro and you are listening this to this uh, just after I've released it, you're welcome to come along to my free four-day e-commerce training called Six Figure Secrets, where you get a little taste of what it's like to work with me you'll come away with some awesome strategies and and learnings around what you can do in your online store as well as get a taste of what online store success is the bigger course thank you for joining me this week i hope that was helpful and i can't wait to talk to you soon bye for now Thanks so much for listening to this episode of Online Store Success with me, Jodie Minto. If you loved it, please share it with your friends on Instagram and tag me at I am Jody Minto so I can say thank you. And if you really want to make my day, please go ahead and leave me a review on Apple Podcasts and give me a follow. If you'd like my help in starting or scaling your online store, be sure to check out my free resources and programs at jodyminto.com. Thanks again and... Same time, same place next week. Bye for now.